You're not going to have to deal with any of that and taking a live look at our fair fair first alert live radar. Some scattered showers out there right now. Temperatures starting off in those 80s going to be cooling down into the upper 70s as we head into tonight. Thing is, we'll have more moisture coming in, so could see a few patches of some dense fog between the five o'clock, maybe eight o'clock hour. It clears out quickly, though, and those temperatures are going to be warming up fast. Here's a look at our lows tomorrow. So going to look for lower 80s out along the coast, upper 70s near I-95 and then mid to lower 70s as you push into our inland areas. Hey, Hearst, Baxley, also Vidalia. And as we walk you through your day in Savannah, once that fog clears out, temperatures warm up to around 90 degrees. By the time we get to noon, could already start seeing a few pop up rain showers during that time. We're mostly going to be looking for coastal rain shower chances during the mid to earlier afternoon. Those push farther inland as we head into the later afternoon and become more isolated before everything dissipates after sunset. And that's really the only relief we're going to have from these temperatures. Upper 80s over along the coast. So going to be seeing mid to lower 90s elsewhere. It's going to be feeling like it's around the triple digits, if not up to around 106 expected near the Ridgeland area tomorrow. So definitely going to want to take that into account as we head into the afternoon. Isolated rain chances, like we said, and then going into tomorrow night. Those skies are going to start clearing up until we get closer to midnight. Temperatures cooling down into those mid to lower 80s, upper 70s a little bit. And pretty much as we go into this week, the big function or the big system that everyone's talking about is this high pressure. It's taking over the center of the country. Very hot temperatures all around. We're actually the lucky ones during this time because we're so close to the beach. We'll get a little bit of those daily rain chances, but temperatures going to remain hot through the midweek at least. Mid 90s during that time, lower 90s as we head into Thursday, and then those mid 90s return as we head into the weekend. The difference is here still we're going to have lots more humidity through the first half of the week, so it feels like temperatures Tuesday back near 105, whereas when you get back over towards 95 degrees, it's only going to feel like it's around 97 as we head into the second half of the week, just all because of that humidity. And this is also going to give us a little bit of less rain chances, but like I said, since we are close to the coast, we'll continue tracking those. Got a cold front that's going to come close to the area, but it's going to be pushed out by that high pressure. Still just daily rain chances during this time for those coastal areas pushed Pushing into our more inland areas as we head into each afternoon and they're going to remain more isolated to scattered. We'll get a little more rain chances as we head into the second half of next weekend. So the result of this allergens are going to be back on the rise. We're getting into that time of the year where the cooler temperatures start coming and also we start losing some of our leaves. So take that into account might need a little extra allergy medication and still just make sure you're doing the same thing we've been doing all summer, drinking lots of fluids and being aware of how your body is feeling.